Hey guys and welcome to my channel. It's your girl Love to Shop Down to Save and today I have for you another Dollar Tree haul. As you can see this box here is completely filled with items that I bought from the Dollar Tree. Um, this is my third haul for the month and Everything in this box is practically, with the exception of a couple of things, is all Christmas stuff. I'm super excited to show you guys what I hauled. I was just so impressed. And yeah, if you'd like to see what I have in this box and in this bag, um, stick around. So the first set of items that I'm going to show you are items that, um, just a few of them that... Um, are not Christmas items, um, but they were new to, because this is mostly a Christmas um, haul, you know, Christmas items. And so um, these were just items that just happened to be new to my Dollar Tree and that I thought were cool, were worth the buy, and were worth sharing with you. So, of course, let's just um, start off with the washi, because, yeah, you know, we love our washi. At least I do. And so these were the ones that I that were new to my Dollar Tree. They did have um, ones that had these feathers, and they did have ones with these uh, flowers that had a purple background. Then I think the one with the feathers had a white background, um, and then the feathers had like a purple or an orange. They were just different colors. Um, weren't my favorite, so like I said, no offense to anybody that might have hauled them and thought they were great. I mean, we all have you know our own like taste and our own opinion. Um, so out of the ones that I saw, these were um, the ones that I liked the best. And here's just the close-up of that. You see the... I had hauled the emoji ones uh, previously, but they were on a pink background. And this one is just on a white background. And then this one is like the school theme with the pencils and the different shapes. And then you have... Um, this one here that has like the little rainbows with the clouds and then those little stars inside the clouds. So that was that. And then I found these really cool um, 3D like plaque or frames and they have really beautiful inspirational quotes. I'm a sucker for inspirational quotes so um, you know I had to pick them up. I actually picked up one of each because um, I figured I would include um, you know, them in the giveaway or as a gift, and then I definitely wanted to make sure that I had one for myself. So the first one says, follow your dreams, and it is in a 3D. I don't know if you're, you know, picking up on that, but, um, but yeah, and it just looks like the feathers are like suspended, like they're falling down, and you have the dream catchers in the background. And I'm always telling my kids to follow their dreams. Um, I think that's um, such a beautiful and important a quote to um, live by in life, is to follow your dreams. And then this one says, dream big. And um, it has like these arrows. And the arrows also look like they're suspended. And I like the fact that they're both, you know, they're painted in the back. Um, you could, you know, put these on a wall like they're intended, or you could just uh, put them on a desk, on a vanity, bookshelf. Um, they don't stand up on their own, so you'd need to, well, not very well at least. So you'd need to, you know, have some sort of support. You could probably add something to the back that would, you know, make it into a frame or the Dollar Tree does sell these little stands um, I believe they come like in black and there's silver and I think gold and they're like these little really cool well look it's stood up on its own but you know you don't, obviously don't want it like falling over so you do want something that's going to support it and these little um, stands would kind of you know hold it up like this and keep it at a slant which would make it great because you you know get that full 3D effect um, and at the same time make sure that your frame you know doesn't keep falling over but really cool and like I said I just had to get two because um, if I decide to give them away I want to make sure that I have ones for myself um, so that was that so the rest of the items that I'm going to be showing you from here and out are Christmas items and yes I know what you guys are thinking or some of you you know isn't it early for that and yes I agree but honestly um, if you are an avid Dollar Tree shopper you know how this works and you know that when you see something at the Dollar Tree especially holiday and seasonal you really need to like pick it up because 
I got stuck on my word there. You really need to pick it up because um, they get sold out. And then sometimes they never bring those items back. So it's happened to me before. And so when I see a good deal at the Dollar Tree and I see something that's worth me buying, I just pick it up. And I saw quite a bit of things and I just pick them up. Also, you know, keep in mind that, you know, when you buy things before a holiday and after a holiday, that's really where you're going to, like, save a lot of money um, because things are marked down before a holiday and after. During, there will be some sales and things like that, but, you know, usually those come, like, with a catch. You know, you've got to, like, wait on a line or show up at a store at a certain time, door busters, things like that. Um, so I just like, you know, I just like the the no pressure type of shopping. I like to, you know, have everything already ready so that after Thanksgiving I can put up my tree and I'm just not like shopping for the last minute for ornaments and things like that. So, um, and there are ornaments that I will kind of splurge on, you know, here and there. Um, my boys always pick out a special ornament every year and, um, yeah, so, but I mean, overall, you know, I'm not going to spend a ton on each ornament. So that's just why I choose to um, pick up a lot of ornaments from the Dollar Tree and, you know, when I get them on sale. So enough of that. Let's just get right into it. Um, the first items are these little gift boxes. I thought they were so cute. They're um, really glittery and they have like these white tops with a little bow on top. So I got two of those, and then I got the opposite um, color combination where the lids are red. Those are really pretty. And I got two of those. And then I picked up these little um, Christmas balls. I thought they were so cute. They reminded me of candy canes. Um, I like the fact that they can sort of bang into each other and they're not going to break. So if they fall, chances are they're not going to break, um, which is awesome because we do definitely break a few ornaments as we are putting up the tree and as we are bringing the tree down. And so that's another reason why I don't like to spend a fortune on ornaments. I've always liked my kids to be involved. And, um, you know, you just don't want to be like... Uh, cringing, you know, when your kids are helping you, like, put stuff up um, that, you know, oh my gosh, that ornament, you know, I paid so much money for that, it's going to break. Um, and yeah, I went through that. So for me, I just like, you know, inexpensive ornaments that look good, they look fabulous, and uh, don't have to feel bad if they don't make it to the next year. So I got two of those. And then I got these little mittens. I thought they were just adorable. They reminded me of my boys when they were little and they used to wear their little mittens. I thought those were so cute. So I also got the opposite color. Those were like um, red with the white, right? With the white. Mm -hmm. And then these are just red with the red tops. I thought those were really, really pretty. And then my favorite ones were these. I thought these were just fabulous. Um, just, you know, the detail in them was just so amazing for a dollar. I mean, I've seen ornaments like this in department stores that are, um, you know, definitely way over a dollar. Some of them, you know, can be actually quite expensive. So I thought that was really beautiful. I picked up two of those. And I did love the shape of them. I thought that was... Um, unique. I like that. So that was that. So in the next bag, I picked up these limited edition Mary Pine by Renew Zit. These air fresheners. Surprisingly, they smell really good because I am not a fan of how um, pine trees, you know, real pine trees smell. Um, I like it, but then it can just be a little bit um, overwhelming, like when it's, uh, you know, that smell is constantly there. But believe it or not, these just have a very subtle, they're just very subtle. So um, I like that about those. Then I picked up this um, set for the kitchen. I thought these were amazing. And once again, this is another 
towel set that I have found at the Dollar Tree that I'm just um, so shocked because it's just such great quality. And yeah, so this one says, have a Merry Christmas, season's greeting, festive wishes, and happy holidays. I thought that was beautiful. And it also comes with the mitt. Then I picked up these placemats. I thought these were also great quality. I thought they were beautiful. Um, can't even believe that they were a dollar. These have little snowmen on them. I love this one because it says peace on earth. Um, it has a sled, a Christmas tree, and it says happy holidays. So I got four of those. I just thought, like I said, they were just very well made and I was just blown away by the Dollar Tree. Then I thought this was really fun. Um, these are these little fun um, refrigerator magnets. So you just take them out. And um, I've gotten a set like this before, not from the Dollar Tree, but um, a couple years back I ordered it from a magazine at my son's school. And... Um, they were just really, you know, really cute. You just, like, take them out, and then you can switch the stuff around. So you can put Santa's hat on. You can even put, like, little, um, the reindeer and, um, the snow. You know, you could just. So the next item that I got were these, um, placemats. Once again, very impressed with the quality. Um, this one says, Peace on Earth. It's got a beautiful snowman and Christmas tree and a sled. It says, Happy Holidays. So, And it's got the little snowflakes. I just thought this was a beautiful. I mean, I was just definitely blown away by um, the items that I was finding at the Dollar Tree. So I got four of those. And I got these really fun um, magnets. They're refrigerator magnets, and you just kind of peel them off and place them on the fridge, and you can mismatch different things. So those are really cute. And then I picked up these bows. Um, these are going to be for those little um, Christmas trees that I hauled. I got two of them, so I thought these little bows would be really cute on those as well. So then I picked up these signs. I thought that they were um, very, very pretty. Um, also, really great size. Um, you can hang them. They have a little gold um, string there that you can hang. I thought this would be really beautiful under my wreath um, in the front of the door. I picked up another one for the inside of the house. So I just thought that was just... I mean, awesome. And then I picked up this sign, which I thought was just really great quality. It says, have yourself a merry little Christmas. And um, it has like the reindeer and the snow and the Christmas trees and all these beautiful snowflakes. So... I was just, like I said, just amazed with the things that I found at the Dollar Tree. And then I picked up these tumblers. These are going to be stocking stuffers. Um, and these have Santa, the reindeers, and some gift boxes, some presents. And then this one has the snowmen and the little penguins with the scarves. So I thought these were adorable. Um, and yeah, they're just great stocking stuffers. So I saved the best for last. And I want to show you guys these awesome chargers that I got from the Dollar Tree. I mean, that is gorgeous. Gorgeous. I would never have thought that these would come from the Dollar Tree. If I saw this, I would never think that. I was just stunned. So I got four of those. So I'm going to leave one out because I'm going to just show you the rest of the stuff and how they come together. So I got four of those. Then 
I had them like pack it up. To match that, I got these beautiful plates. And the plates are also great quality and they have a gold um, rim around. So I can kind of show you there how gorgeous that looks. And I got four of those plates. And then I picked up this beautiful bowl, which also has the gold um, trimming around it. And I picked up four of those. So guys, yes, this is what the Dollar Tree has to offer for the holidays. I mean, they are definitely stepping up their game. Um, if I saw this laid out on a table, it would not scream Dollar tr Tree to me at all. I would think that this was a lot more expensive. And so, yeah, guys, this is basically my haul. So if you guys are interested in um, decorating and getting things on a budget, definitely check out your local Dollar Tree. Um, so, yeah, um, I hope that you guys like this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And also be sure to subscribe. Um, I would love that. Love for you guys to be a part of my family YouTube um, channel <laughs> and also because I would want you guys to have a chance at winning my giveaway which I'm going to be doing very soon just kind of putting everything together and that's going to be some random person so yeah that's going to most likely be the next video that I'm going to be uploading and it's going to include everything that's in my giveaway and what those rules are going to be. So stay tuned for that. Guys, I hope you have a fabulous weekend. I hope that um, you get rest and relaxation and just an awesome, awesome downtime. We all need that. So hugs and kisses, guys. Mwah. God bless. See you soon. Bye.